This edition of Mac Voices is supported by you, our viewers and listeners, through our new Patreon campaign. If you get value from Mac Voices, please consider helping support the show by visiting patreon.com slash macvoices. Hi, I'm Chuck Joyner. This is Mac Voices at MacStock in Chicago. Guess what? Michael Plot is here with me. We, we never do anything together, Mike. It's always virtually. Usually it's virtually, yes. And uh, I appreciate you when you were on my show, uh, iChart Radio. Well, and, and I was sorry to hear iChart Radio go away, but I'm, I'm delighted that everything's working out for you and you've got something new going. Yes, I'm going to take uh, my productive activities in a new direction. I'm planning on starting a YouTube channel uh, about something that I'm very passionate about, and that's wine. And uh, I hope to pass along some knowledge that I've gained along the way and hopefully turn some people on to something they didn't know about wine in, in the past. So I didn't know that you were a wine aficionado. I'm, I'm intrigued by this, especially that you, you were going from a tech podcast to a wine YouTube channel. Yes, uh, aficionado. It's, it's funny how wine has all these different words, one of them being snob. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so that works too. And, and the funny thing is I feel as though... I'm at such a point now where when wine is served, I have developed such a taste that I come across as being a wine snob. Like, it's like, oh, I'm sorry, I can't drink that because it's, it, it's, it tastes like pee or vinegar or something to me. Um, so I'd like to get wine lovers and potential wine lovers up to a level that uh, where they will in turn buy better wine and serve better wine and just bring bring the game up a little bit i'm i'm, I'm really intrigued because first of all i'm not a wine guy i would like to learn more about it but i've just never taken the time so maybe your show can be my guide but it, that, that you feel that much passion about it and the, have the desire to share is is phenomenal well i yeah i just feel as though there's a lot of folks out there who um drink whiskey or beer or like there's 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 this craft beer movement that you, you see them sprouting all over the place. Every metropolitan area has a craft brew industry, including my in Windsor, Ontario. There's tons of places that are making beer. As far as making wine, that was a thing as well. But these retail outlets that are making wine, they're not really making wine. It's, it's a different creature altogether than wine that's made at a winery by a winemaker. Uh, th that stuff tends to be... Um, Cheap for one thing. That's that, that 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 is the draw to it, and a lot of people think they're they're making their own wine, but really they're not really making wine per se. Uh, for one thing, it's for wine for me anyway, and it, traditionally, it has to be aged in a barrel, not in one of these glass or stainless steel vats that they typically are, are in. So um, it's, it, it, that's a good example for me. Someone says, "Oh, I just made some wine. Would you like to try it?" I'm, to me, that's like the worst stuff to serve. Like, I'm sorry, that's just some chemical concoction that somebody is selling you and labeling it wine. I'm sorry, I can't drink that stuff. And then, of course, you come across as being, huh, you don't want to drink my stuff. Well, I'd, I'd like to inform people that there is, uh, there's better wines and there's a way to form your own opinion about wine and uh, also have, I think there's bad effects on your body from drinking that kind of stuff myself and I don't think that's a good idea I think we should all like I say bring up our game in the wine space okay so I'm gonna go this far down that and then then we'll get away from wine but I mean I guess from where I sit my understanding of it is that wine I mean just because it age just because it's aging in barrels versus something else I mean does that do something chemically to it does it produce a completely different chemical reaction uh, yes it does absolutely uh, it, it has a different uh, reaction to the uh, the tannins that are in it and it helps develop the uh, the body within the wine itself and if you have more body the longer it lasts and the longer it lasts like the old adage is like fine wine it gets better with age and if you can get a wine that has good body, nice tannins, nice solid uh, wine there, you can let it sit for, you know, five, ten years, and then you're enjoying yourself a nice bottle of wine, as opposed to the stuff that you just brought home the afternoon that was made two weeks ago, and you're drinking that. It's not the same uh, same thing. So so let's go tech for a second. Okay. Um, this is a tech place for everyone. Well, yeah. Um, 
so why a YouTube channel as and, and that obviously entails video as opposed to just a wine podcast? Because you're a very experienced podcaster, you yes. could probably pop those out with no trouble. I probably could, yeah. So. I, I, I think it, uh, visual is the way to go uh, as far as wine goes because you're going to be showing. I'm going to be showing lots of wine in in bottles, and one of the main thing that you judge wine by is uh, visual indicators, color, the way it sticks to the side of the glass, uh, that, that kind of thing. So you want that stuff to be conveyed to uh, to the audience. And I just feel that it's it also it's somewhat selfish on my part. You know, I have been podcasting since 2005, and uh, I, I feel like I know what the, I'm doing in that space. Uh, so I, I would like to expand my, you know, just go places and, and grow as a whatever we want to call ourselves. <laughs> Well, p podcaster, videographer, yeah. just content publisher. Content publisher, I like that, yeah. So I, I'd like to grow myself in that space. And I know a lot of other folks who uh, are, are doing the exact same thing, and they're relatively successful at doing it. So I, I feel I have some resources out there to draw some knowledge from. And, uh, you know, I'm obviously going to make mistakes and I'm going to get better as time goes on. But uh, I feel as though I have enough support uh, behind me that I, I know I can make a, a decent product out there. And it'll only get better as time goes on. And, and that's that's the part I really admire because it takes a, a lot of guts to say, okay, I'm going to start this. It's not going to be perfect right out of the box, but I'm going to learn. People can learn with me along with learning something about wine. So I, I love it. I, I congratulate you. Thank you very much. Thanks for having me on uh, on your little uh, Mac stock. I was going to say Mac World there, you know. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for having me on your little Mac stock special here. Yeah, no, it's great. Um, last question. Is there an ETA for this at this point or a title or anything or – are we still in? Is that still in the development process? There is a title. I don't want to give it away because I haven't bought the domain name yet. That's fair. Uh, so, uh, as far as development goes, I am shopping for equipment right now. Uh, that again, I'm uh, asking people I know in the industry what I should do as far as uh, equipment goes: lighting and backdrops and cameras and that, and that kind of stuff. Software as well. So. Um, it's in the feasibility stage. Let's just put it that way. Yeah. Any reason to buy more gear, right? Yeah, I like to. I like yeah. the idea of buying gear because I'm pretty much set as far as uh, audio recording goes. Uh, I'm, I'm all set there. So yeah, I'm gonna have to up my game and, and get in the video mode. Well, thank you so much for a lot of a lot of time on iChart Radio, and I'm looking forward to the new venture. Thanks, Chuck. Whatever the name. <laughs> Folks, we'll have more from Mac Stock in Chicago. I'm Chuck Joyner. This is Mac Voices. Visit macvoices.com for show notes and to connect with Chuck on social media. Get involved in our Mac Voices Facebook group and get more out of your Apple tech with Mac Voices magazine, free on Flipboard. And if you find value in it all, consider supporting us at patreon.com slash macvoices and join these folks who help keep Mac Voices coming to you. Advertising handled by Backbeat Media at backbeatmedia.com. Bandwidth provided by Cashfly at cashfly.com. <laughs>